Why did giraffes evolve to have long necks? Giraffes have long necks, primarily to access food in tall trees like acacia that other herbivores can't reach. This evolutionary adaptation helps them thrive in habitats where competition for ground-level foliage is fierce. Hmm. Additionally, their necks are used for necking, a form of combat where males swing their necks to establish dominance and win mates. The longer and stronger the neck, the better the chance of success. Hmm. Why do we get a flaky scalp in winter? Firstly, cold air and low humidity can dry out our skin, including the scalp, leading to flakes and itchiness. Secondly, indoor heating also contributes to the dryness by removing moisture from the air. This can cause our scalp to lose its natural oils, leading to irritation. Thirdly, a lack of sunlight in the winter months can affect the balance of our scalp's natural oils and yeast-like fungi, like Malassezia, which can cause dandruff. Lastly, wearing hats during winter can further trap huh? heat and sweat, promoting dryness and flakes. Hmm. Why do flowers smell so very nice? Flowers smell good to attract pollinators, like bees, butterflies, and birds, which help them reproduce by spreading pollen. Pleasant scents come from natural chemicals called volatile organic compounds produced by the flowers. Each flower species has a unique combination of volatile organic compounds, creating distinctive fragrances that appeal to specific pollinators. Some flowers also use their scent to deter pests or even to compete with nearby plants. Why are clouds white in color? Sunlight, which we perceive as white, is a combination of all colors in the visible spectrum. Clouds consist of water droplets that are comparable in size to the wavelengths of sunlight. When light interacts with droplets of this size, it undergoes a process called MIE scattering. Unlike other types of scattering, MIE scattering affects all colors of light equally, blending them back into white. This is why clouds appear white to our eyes. Hmm. Why do humans fear snakes? Firstly, snakes can be deadly, so a natural fear response towards them could have helped early humans avoid dangerous encounters, increasing their chances of survival. Hmm. Secondly, snakes often have distinct features like a triangular head and a slithering movement that can trigger a fear response even without a direct threat. Hmm. Lastly, direct negative experiences with snakes, like being bitten or seeing someone get bitten, may have solidified our fear of snakes. Huh? Why are babies born with blue eyes? Before being born, babies spend several months in almost complete darkness. Now, in many babies, melanocytes secrete melanin without the need for light. In these cases, the melanin gives the baby's eyes their brown color at birth. Hmm. But in some babies, melanocytes require light to trigger melanin production. Now, as these babies have spent the last several months in almost complete darkness, there hasn't been much melanin production, hence their eyes look blue. Huh? What is human skin made up of? Epidermis, the top layer of our skin, makes new skin cells as well as protects us from germs, sun, and the rain. Also, it contains melanin, the pigment which gives our skin its color. Hmm. Dermis, the middle layer, is responsible for producing sweat as well as keeping our skin strong, flexible, and smooth. Also, it is Dermis's responsibility to tell us if something is too hot or cold. Hmm. Hypodermis, or fatty layer, is the bottom-most layer. 
It protects our bones and muscles from injuries during a fall. Hmm. Huh? How do 3D glasses actually work? In 3D theaters, two projectors, which are synchronized with each other, are used to project two different views, each with a different polarization, onto the screen. Now, the 3D glasses which we wear contain lenses with different polarization. Each one of them allows only a single image of a specific polarization to enter our eye. The other image of a different polarization is not allowed to enter. Our brain receives these two images and puts them together in a single three-dimensional image. Hence, we are able to watch 3D movies. Hmm. Huh? How are Formula One cars so fast? Firstly, these cars utilize powerful turbocharged hybrid engines that can produce a lot of horsepower, providing immense acceleration. Secondly, the aerodynamic design of these cars generates significant downforce, effectively pushing the car onto the track for better cornering grip. Thirdly, these cars are built with lightweight materials to maximize power to weight ratio. Lastly, specially designed tires provide exceptional grip on the track. Hmm. Huh? Why do some people develop allergies? An allergy occurs when our immune system mistakenly identifies a normal innocuous substance as a harmful intruder. Hence, it produces antibodies to kill the intruder and in the process gives rise to itching, runny nose, watery eyes, etc. Thus causing an allergy. Hmm. Now, according to hygiene hypothesis, if children are kept in extremely clean environments and not exposed to germs at all, then their immune system fails to develop properly and instead starts attacking harmless substances, thus causing an allergy. Mm. Huh? Are treadmills bad for us? Firstly, on a treadmill, Instead of our leg muscles, the propulsion belt propels our body forward. Hence, it limits our muscle development. Secondly, as compared to treadmills, nature provides us uneven surfaces and turns, thus allowing our leg muscles to learn and adapt. Thirdly, most treadmills don't have a downward incline feature. Hence, the runners don't get the benefit of jogging downhills. Lastly, Aww. running on treadmills can be extremely boring as compared to running outdoors. Hmm. How will we sound on Mars? Firstly, because of the cold Martian atmosphere, sound travels at a lower speed on Mars as compared to that on Earth. Hmm. Secondly, as the Martian atmosphere is extremely sparse, it affects the way sound waves travel from one point to the other. Hence, the volume of sound heard on Mars is automatically lower. Hmm. Lastly, the Martian atmosphere is made up of around 96% carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide absorbs a lot of higher-pitched sounds. As a result, only lower-pitched sounds can travel long distances on Mars. Hmm. 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 